Hey YouTube family, welcome back to the channel. My name is Motors and this is my Jeep Next. Today, we're gonna be adding a little bit more flare and function. We're gonna be adding the LED third brake light ring. It uh, just mounts right behind the uh, spare tire there, connects to the third brake light. And uh, as if I'm not already breaking necks and stopping people uh, just from looking at my Jeep as it is, we're gonna give them another reason to stop. So come along, we'll get this installed. Okay, so this one is from Rugged Ridge. Once we get it opened up, we've got instructions, some wire connectors, and the uh, brake light itself. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a pretty easy install. Uh, so let me grab some tools. We'll get that uh, spare tire off and uh, we'll get this thing started. All right, so before we take off this tire, of course I had to throw on a jacket so I don't get myself too dirty taking this off. But before you can get that off, you have to remove the camera housing. Uh, that's your rear view camera and to do that of course Jeep gives you the uh, all the fancy tools to take your Jeep pretty much apart so we will basically just have to unlock this housing just pull it right off throw that in the back and then we will get that tire off Okay, so once we have the uh, spare tire off, we've got to take off these seven screws, remove this uh, back of the housing, and that should expose the wiring that we'll need to get to in order to get the uh, light hooked up. So let's do that. So once we got the uh, screws off, I uh, grabbed a uh, trim tool to see if I can help coax this part off. And the wires are just kind of taped in. And we're just going to unplug this connector. Next step. Okay, so the next step, basically just to mount the uh, brake light, you want to put the uh, wire there at the top. This is a pretty snug fit. Uh, I've had it on and off of there a couple of times, so it goes on just a little bit uh, easier now. And then uh, you can just take your wire and run it back along the side there, and there's two channels. Uh, that you can use to run these wires. Now, uh, the instructions call to eliminate that brake light, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. They want you to cut that wire and use their butt connectors. But since my, my uh, stock spare at this point is still gonna fit below the height of that uh, brake light, I'm basically just gonna tap into that wire uh, with the uh, wire taps and uh, still have the use of that uh, actual stock third brake light so let me show you that channel there and then we'll get this thing uh, uh, all hooked up okay so looking at the back side uh, of the third brake light support you can see that there's two channels uh, one here that's where the uh, factory wire is running and then the other one is right there if you can see that i'm going to run the third brake light wire through there and since I am not going to uh, use the butt connectors and I'm going to use these simple wire taps I'm going to extend this wire all the way out and tap it there and that will give me some room uh, of where I can uh, mount that wire tap because it's a little bigger of course than a uh, butt connector so 
let me kind of get things uh, set up and we'll get this thing installed okay so basically I'm gonna start out by getting a rough uh, measurement of how far down that wire will start from uh, kind of get it gently tucked in that uh, second channel there and then I'll tuck in the factory wire and that'll give me an idea of where that wire is going to land in that uh, stock wire so then we just need to cut away some of that uh, electrical tape we'll use a trusty razor blade for this delicate operation here and we will just be careful not to damage the wires and because I am not cutting these wires there's no need for me to disconnect the battery uh, anytime you're gonna disconnect anytime you're gonna tap into a wire or, or splice a wire uh, if it's got anything to do with uh, power it's always best to dis disconnect the battery, but we're not going to be exposing any uh, bare wires today, so we'll be just fine. Just going to expose enough of this wire so I can get that wire tap in there. Just cut it back just a little more. Okay. So that's good enough then we're going to take a look here we're going to pull this insulation down obviously exposing the power and ground wire and we all know that in this situation the black is going to be the ground so i don't know if you guys have ever used these before but they've got uh, small lines in there that's where the wire is actually going to get wrapped around and it's going to pierce that uh, insulation so we'll start with the positive. And we know that this is going to be positive wire, it'll be white and green. And we tuck the new wire. Let's get that pulled back just a little bit more. That's kind of getting in the way. And we'll get the wires ready there. All right, so we've got the first wire laid through. It goes all the way through. Put the second wire in, and it only goes halfway through. Okay. All right, so these, this, uh, new wire here all these pieces of insulation are getting in the way so i am just going to tape those back just a little bit while i work on this so they won't get mixed up in what i'm trying to do there so all right so again we will go back to the power wire take our butt connector if you can see that but top one goes all the way through that lets this wire pass all the way through and the wire that we're connecting only goes halfway just past that connection so we will lay that one across put that one in there make sure everything's gonna line up take the pliers and basically just pinch that down so those wires have now contacted that and contacted one another and then we just close that until it snaps we've got a good connection so then we'll do the same thing with the ground wire
that's it we're connected and then I just like to add a little bit of uh, electrical tape typically we'll start on one side And that's it okay so once we got the connections made I uh, just want to show you where this wire is going to go there's a gap between the uh, spare tire mount and the tailgate just big enough where that wire can fit between there so then kind of get it started down there we'll have some time to kind of move it around a little bit but then this wire is then gonna run in this uh, channel that's on the left-hand side. See if I can get that kind of started so you can see. See how that's, see how that's tucking in there? And the factory wire also tucks back in its original spot. And then once we get up here, there's some space in the bracket and that will allow me to move this around. So let me uh, get the camera back on the tripod and see if we can get this uh, all mounted back up. Okay, so uh, there's two channels like we've been talking about here. I'm going to tuck the new brake light in the left one and the factory one goes right where it was in the beginning on the right hand side. And as you can see, there's a, a screw hole that's going to really come right to the top of there. So these wires are going to have to straddle that. So once I get that started, then I'll be able to kind of maneuver this around so it makes it back up here and I can get this uh, connection tucked in somewhere over here. So I'll see if I can move the camera so you can get a little bit better view and we'll get it all ready to go. All right, let's get this started here. Those two wires in their channel. That uh, wire to straddle that. Keeping in mind that I don't want to block any of the uh, holes. Come around the other side there. flat that connector is just a little bulky but we'll get her in there get these wires lined up before we go too far we've got to plug this back up So I ended up having to change the location of these two wire taps uh, because they were landing up here and that section uh, when you put the housing on is a little too thin. Uh, so I moved them and I'm going to bring them down a, a little bit. But when you go rogue, like I often do in these modifications, you have to change something. So I'm going to just uh, get my Dremel and I'm going to take out that little section just to give me a little bit more room for this uh, connection to fit so let me grab my tools okay here we go going rogue in three two and one <laughs>
just like factory would do it. Okay, if this little trick doesn't work, you guys might never see this video. <laughs> All right, that's two times I had to go rogue today. Uh, call out to Jeep. If you guys need somebody to do stuff like this for you, give me a holler. All right, let's get this thing on. We're good. All right, guys, we got everything uh, hooked up, wiring, had to make a few modifications. I like to call going rogue whenever you're uh, doing something beyond what the instructions call for, uh, but I'm known for doing stuff like that. Um, so we'll get the spare tire back on, get everything nice and secure, and then we'll test it out and see what we think. Let's get her done. Review camera cover. And we'll lock that back in place. It's done. Let's check it out. All right, you guys. I'm going to go around here and I'm going to step on the brakes. If anybody sees smoke or fire, please call 911 because something went wrong. All right, let's see what happens. No smoke. No fire. All right, you guys, that's it. We got it all installed. That's the Rugged Ridge third brake light ring. Shout out to my beautiful bride for handing that to me the other day for my birthday. I'm gonna love it. So you guys click and subscribe. If you like what you're seeing, tell your friends about me and we'll keep this thing going. We'll see you next time.